Hi, and welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy or just like to make things in general, you have come to the right place. Now, today is my hashtag Friday Sews video, what I've been up to in the workshop. It's been a big week, so please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll tell you everything I've been up to. All right, first of all, I've been trying to keep my heartbeat down because I am four days away from my first online sewing channel, hashtag so reversible 2023. I'm hoping it's going to be a yearly event. I've gotten some great feedback with people with different ideas and questions. So that's the first thing I've been up to. But wait, before we start talking about that, let's hear what the moderator question is this week. Okay, the question from the So Creative um, Collective over on Facebook, um, uh, sponsored by Jenny Weissner and Marie de Jesus. I think I said it right this time. I think I've been saying it wrong all these other weeks. Anyway, the moderator um, topic this week is, has anyone ever said anything rude about what you were wearing that you made yourself while you were wearing it? Oh, I've got a good one for you. All right. My dad is of a certain age and he's also Jamaican, <laughs> which means I'm going to get some plain speaking. I was wearing something that I thought I was so cute and summery in Jamaica, Jamaican, and I was leaving the house and he said, please be careful out there. I was like, oh, thank you, dad. I thought he was telling me to be careful driving. He says, you know, birds pick up bright objects and you might be in trouble today. Really? Is that not a mic drop? That's what my dad said to me at 58 or 59. I'm grown. That was uncalled for. Anyway, I love my dad and his wry sense of humor. <laughs> so I took it in stride. <laughs> uh, nothing's changed since I've been a teenager. Nothing. <laughs> uh, and he was delighted with himself. He thought he'd made the best joke ever. <laughs> Okay, as for what's been going on the work in the workshop, as I told you, I'm working on my So Reversible 2023 video. So um, a lot of the things I've been doing are preparing because I want to have a month of videos. I have want to have a, a month of shorts and examples of some of the stuff I'm uh, I can you can make reversible. But I also had was completing this is July and I'm completing my Christmas in July movement as well, or campaign as I like to say. So I started working on my Christmas on July 1st. The goal being not to complete Christmas, but to get started. And because when you get started and have an idea where you're going, all this serendipitous things happen. So let me show you my Christmas shirt. Now let me preface this with transparency for so is is that I made the Anthea blouse by Anna Allen. Uh, this must be my number one, two, three, maybe four, fifth, maybe fifth. Absolutely love them. I can button them all the way to the top with this little shorty neck and they look perfect. I don't look like I'm a statue on top of a plinth or something like that. So the reason I'm so tickled is because this is one of the versions I made. It's one of my favorites. I wear it no matter what. But as you can see, I didn't exactly nail lining up my sunflowers. I thought I, I thought I did it. I really did. I just don't know what went wrong. But by the time I put them together, I wasn't even trying to get the sunflowers to overlap or anything. They just needed to be on the same line. As you can tell by the wrinkles, I wear it and wash it anyway. You, sometimes you just have to get over yourself. So, um, while in Pings, I they were unloading, I think a couple, couple weeks ago I told you, they were unloading their printed cottons that they had gotten. And it's kind of like a, uh, a resale place. So they had giant bags of it in swaths and they were, the nice lady was folding them up and putting them in the bins to be weighed, not measured, weighed when you check out. 
And I went through there and got stacks and stacks and stacks of printed cotton for little girls' dresses because Dress a Girl is coming up next month, a uh, month after August uh, in September. And so um, they had so many cute patterns, balloons, sunflowers, all these things that I would love to make for them. They had these two pieces of Christmas material, which I don't think is appropriate for me to send, to put in Dress a Girl. First of all, the fabric is white based, would really be, um, backgrounds are white, would be really hard to keep them clean, especially in areas in Dress a Girl where they don't have access to washing machines and bleep and all that kind of stuff. So as I'm working on my Christmas, and this is what I think is wonderful, I was inspired to make a Christmas blouse just because when I was ironing these two fabrics, they were so pretty. And I thought, you know, I, I know the exact pattern for that. So that's one of the gifts of getting started early is that you have time to meander off the path. Now, are my stuff coming in the mail? Yes, I wish they were here. They're still in customs. But of the things that I've already purchased online, I'm pretty much finished except for baking and a few things I wanna handle when I'm in the United States. But anyway, this is my Christmas blouse. Aren't these berries just so sweet? And y'all, my lineup game is so strong on this shirt. I am so proud of myself. It's a long way from here to here. Now, trust me, when I made the first one, I really thought that this was happening, but I got it wrong. But now I got it right. I was waiting for a phone call and I had enough time to make another one. It's lined up pretty well too. The buttons aren't on there yet. I'll put the buttons are in that little case right there, but it is kind of a travel one. I had enough left over from making a make a girl, uh, dress a girl dress to make this little cute little shirt. I love, the thing I love about that pattern, um, the uh, Anthea blouse is, I love these sleeves. They hit just about right on your arm. You can wear your bracelets and show your bracelets off and you still get the puff sleeve. I've made it twice in a, twice in a dress, three times in a dress, twice in a dress, and maybe five or six times in a shirt. Wonderful pattern, highly recommend. Now, a lot of the things that I did other than those two shirts are kind of catch up, like sewing buttons on, um, which I like to do while I'm watching movies and waiting in a doctor's office or something like that, or, um, you know, finishing up. So now you saw this initial um, dress with the feather other option. So I finished it. I'm going to do, I have a little work to do on the neckline. I'm just going to sew this in place. And, um, but I really love how it came out. It's assembly line box pleat dress. And it has this humongous box pleat in the bag. It fits really nice. And I'll model it for you in my um, uh, July makes video. So don't worry, you'll see it. Okay, now this is just kind of housekeeping. Um, I ordered this dress from Timu because it had, um, I'm going to Egypt and it had, Egypt's over here and it was very, it was all the way down past my sneakers and I thought with a scarf around it and surprisingly this polyester blend that they make is really, really good in um, in heat. I've worn, I bought a couple of their t-shirts, y'all. I don't think they make anything that has um, cotton in it. And I thought, let, if these, if this is, if this fabric that they use, if it's suffocating, I won't get another one of their t-shirts, but it was surprisingly cool. And it like, it absorbed the heat and held it off my body, which is very unusual. And so they make a lot of their stuff with this blend. I don't know what this blend is, but this is how much I cut off the bottom. I hate to get rid of getting rid of some of the islands and the places, but I did like this, which I got from um, Timu, maybe thirteen, maybe thirteen, twelve or thirteen dollars.
Now, um, I was also working on finishing up these um, assembly line. Oh, what's it called? Hold on one second. Okay. In case you're looking for them, that was the assembly line box pleat dress that I showed you before. And the assembly line oversized shirt, which I have made a total of one, two, three, four times. Four times. So this is, I got the buttons, which I think really match. They really do a good job. I got them from Timu. Now look, I... I'm living outside of the uh, the country uh, in in the Caribbean, so finding buttons and findings and things like that are really important to me. So that's really why I keep scamming Timu to find if they have any sewing accessories because they ship really easy. It's an affordable price. I am not an affiliate. I am not a oh what do they have affiliates and influence uh, uh, spon they don't pay me any money i'm just if you're like me and you're in a place where it's hard to get to a um a fabric store i just want you to see that there's options for you so i put the buttons and tack the placket in place on that shirt and uh my daughter's already claimed it and and this light yellow one i got these buttons from timu also and um and i um uh, tacked one on top of my placket um because i had two left what are you going to do with two buttons <laughs> so i put one on each placket all right so that's everything i made or finished now y'all let me let's talk about my challenge I welcome everyone to participate. No item is too small. I've had some interesting questions. Are hats included, accessories, bags? Yes, they're all included. If you make it and you turn it into something reversible, please enter it. If you have time to snap a picture of it and um, upload to Instagram while you're in process, just add the WIP to the end of the so the hashtag so reversal. That's what I'm going to be doing because I don't even want to show you. I want to save it till um, to reverse week. But I just love it so much. I'm going to go ahead and give you a brief look. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. But this is my so reversible bomber. <laughs> it's so amazing. Um, the other side is different. I took inspiration from the perfect jacket and I added beading to this quilted pattern I made on the sleeves. This is that crazy fabric from Timu. I'm not a sponsor. I'm not an affiliate. I just keep finding stuff on there. Now, they do have this fabric back in. It has the three-dimensional flowers on it. I'll show you the back when we get to reversible week. Now, as far as reversible challenge, Please contact me if you have any questions. Just check my about page for the email address. Plus you can um, post on, uh, you can uh, comment on any video and I will and I will see it and, and answer any questions. Now, let's see. I guess that's um, about it. I just want y'all to have fun. I want you to use your imagination. I guess it's just the teacher in me. And let's see what happens. I had a few things come in um, into shipping um, and I will get the Timu things out of the way first. I got this seam roller. I've never used one before. You know, when you open your seams, this presses them down. I don't know. It might be superfluous because I usually tend to just use my finger, but I saw someone using it and I thought I would give it a um, try. Um, it wasn't too expensive. Um, matter of fact, I don't even think it was a dollar. Now, if you have a teacher in your life and you want them to be floored, this is my last Timu item. This handbag is about $23. Now, as a school teacher, you would have gotten an A in my class if at Christmas time you showed up 
and put this little thing on a gift bag on my table. Even if you were failing, most likely, <laughs> I would find a way for you to pass because this is as close to a Judith Lieber miniature I'm going to get because I don't have $10,000 or $7,000 for a purse. But it's this is delightful. It opens old time like your mom's, old time like that. It also has a chain so you can sling it around your butt. I just think it's delightful. I, I bought it, I have to tell you, I bought it on a whim. I don't really need that many handbags, but I've always wanted one of these sort of things. And they're usually, I saw one, I saw them at Disneyland, uh, oh, Disney World, Disneyland, Florida, for hundreds of dollars. And I considered it. But this one, I don't know if it's sold out, but if not, and you've got a teacher you love, or you are a teacher that you love, Timu, hand clutch purse, beautiful. Now, your phone doesn't fit in it, but oh, who cares? <laughs> Items were one yard pieces of, or one and a half yard pieces of fabric that I found on Etsy. I have um, some pieces from Closet Core that are uh, in Houston for me to pick up. It's a, uh, for a black and white themed uh, layer cape dress. So this is your fault, perfect jacket, this is your fault. Anyway, so I got this fabric and it's called Golden Lady Black and White. And I got it from Faye Carey Q-A-O-T, Quat. She's an Etsy shop. And then I got this one with women's faces called, um, uh, it's by Alexander Henry, Crowd and Retro uh, Faces Cotton Fabric. And I got this from Fabric and Folly on Etsy. And I think the other ones were on, uh, are from Closet Core, but you'll see that dress when I get around uh, to this it. This Nest Fabric is from Fabric Mart. I have no idea what I'm doing with it. It was just too gorgeous to let it pass by. Just the workmanship alone in the lace. Just the workmanship. Sometimes you collect a fabric just because you've never seen the like. And I just think this silver is gorgeous. It is called silver polyester slash rayon slash metallic scalloped double border circular Gui Pure L. I have a feeling it is a designer fabric which Fabric Mark is fi uh, famous for having a jacket, a sheath dress. There's no telling. It's gorgeous. I will consider this closer to the holiday because I got enough on my plate right now. Lately, whenever I get one of those uh, pattern sales from uh, the Simply Simplicity site, um, I seem to, it takes a while for them to ship. I'm not exactly sure why they're working, you know, things out, but I got a few patterns that I want to share with you. I got this from Handmade in Millennium, a Nomi pattern with this feature on the leg and on the top. And I especially like this sleeveless number. I got that one. <sighs> and Kichibi style. Oh, Kathy. I can hear you laughing all the way in Minnesota. I know it's a jumpsuit, but come on, girl. I got to give it a try. <laughs> and this one is the corny rainbow. And this Nomi dress. I'm really fascinated. Um, I have this color. I have a lace and I have a kind of a crinkle um, taffeta, and I'd like—I think I'd like to try the combination of the two. I think the lace over the crinkle taffeta. We'll see. Now I don't know why I keep buying this man's pattern, <laughs> unless I'm trying to get one of these kind of men, ones who feel comfortable wearing Gucci slides and comfortable clothes with a V-neck. But I also like this this cap, this top, this tunic for myself.
So I don't know if I'm just feeling his clothes or feeling him. I don't know. But I bought another one. <laughs> now my girl Mimi. One shoulder, elastic waist. This is drama. I like this. All right, more likely this or maybe something in between. But I do like this. All righty. Okay. Now, this one has all kinds of attitude, right? I love this bralette. I think that's enough support for me. I think I would do this little sliver of skin with this cover up and this. I already have the rayon for it. I put it away, but I have the rayon for it. Only problem is I don't think I got enough to do the whole shebang. Um, I bought it in um, at Ping's in uh, Montego Bay, but I don't think I bought enough to do the shirt, the pants, and the bralette. But, you know, we'll see what we can do. Now, I also bought this simplicity pattern. I love this sheath thing. I think with the short sleeves for Jamaica, I'm really in love with the with the box pleat because of the last thing I made. And I really think that this is a serviceable pattern for me. I can see it done in chalice. I can see it done in a crisp, crisp cotton. I'm in. All right, now the rest of these. Oh, now, sometimes I just as a librarian, I collect patterns because I don't have it. I don't have any sorry patterns, but I have lots of Indian people in my life. My daughter, uh, my daughters have many people in their life. And so I got a sari pattern. Um, yeah. All right. So that's in my library. Let me see. Now the rest of these are stuffed animals because when, when Simplicity um, puts the, or Berta puts them on sale, I try and get a few because I just like stuffed animals. And this one has the cutest little llama, which my daughter's best friend um, just had a little baby, Amira. And I think she needs a llama. I really do. So I got this pattern. They all stand up. I love that. And... I don't know, something about this curve. I just see this uh, stuffed animal being dragged along by its little feet until they have to part company and then I'll make them another one. <laughs> uh, now look, you don't see a war, what's this called again? A narwhal every day. And this octopus all right, this is a lot of these things I like to make with my scraps. And I know a little boy who needs a whale. He needs a whale. So I'm going to make him the whale, um, but I'm not going to stuff it until I get to America <laughs> because I, I can't see that in my, in my bag. But I also like this crazy looking bunny. But... Now, a little person hasn't shown up for me yet who needs the bunny. But this whale, all right, Cal, it's heading your way. <laughs> also in the library corner, <laughs> I saw two videos this week that I would recommend for y'all to watch if you're interested in. And one was by Steph Sohn, Make a Wardrobe You Actually Wear. And I thought that was very interesting, made me think. And the next one was My Barcelona Fabric um, Buys by The Craftopreneur. I'll put the links in um, the um, description box. But um, I thought they were really interesting videos. I'm sure that was kind of long because um, a lot is going on in the workshop. Christmas in July, so reversible 2023, um, hauls, hacks, all kinds of things. I'm having a good time. I hope you're having a good time wherever you are. Remember, 10, 20, 30 minutes to sew and you'll get your projects done eventually. Um, let's just have a moment of silence for Nancy Zeman. That was one of the most profound things I ever got from her. All right, keep making and four days until Sew Reversible 2023.